Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about how to automate your workflow with custom build tasks in VS Code. Um, we're going to finish the video with a demo of how to use a custom build task um, with ROS2, the robot operating system. So what are build tasks? Uh, build tasks are a way in VS Code to run a series of steps that will build your project and um, to run them with a keyboard shortcut. Uh, by default, control shift B. B is in boy. So to set up a build task, first let's set up something for it to do. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, just create a Python file. We'll call it main.py. And I'm just going to do a simple I'm building. And it's called a build task because uh, you know you would normally use these with, say, a Maven build or a Gradle build or something where you're, you're compiling uh, a piece of software. Uh, we can use them for anything though. It's one of the things that I love about VS Code is that you can just you know chain tasks together and uh, and automate whatever you're working on. So we've created our our main.py. I'm also going to create a folder called install. We're going to simulate a, a multi-step build process here. Um, the fact that this is an install folder is irrelevant. We're just going to be using that. So we're going to create a folder called .vscode. So this is where all of your uh, project configuration for you know VS Code for this project goes. And inside of here, we're going to create a tasks.json. So your tasks.json is where you configure the various tasks that are available in VS Code. Um, so we're going to open this up with some curly braces. Um, we will define a version, which is 2.0.0. And this is all stuff you can look up. Um, you know, you, don't, you do not have to memorize the syntax. Uh, I have a few different tasks.json's. I use some for uh, one for Python, one for ROS. Uh, one for C++, um, you know, they're really not that, you're probably going to develop a few for your workflow, and then you're going to, it's going to be a set it and forget it thing. So we're going to define tasks, and then square brackets, and then a set of curly brackets, or curly braces for your first task, and we're going to set uh, the label here to deploy Python the script. Uh, we'll make this a type. Will be shell. The command will be cp. Um, args will be. Let's see the arguments that we're passing into CP. So what we're going to do with this first one, again, just to simulate a build task, is we're going to pass main.py, and we're going to copy it into install. So this is the equivalent of having just written CP main.py install. That's all, that's all we're doing. Um, if you're on Windows, the command might be a little bit different. I'm on Linux. Uh, all right, so we're going to declare a group. And the group kind is going to be equal to build. And then that should be all we need for the basics. And then what we're going to do to run this is we're just going to run a control shift control shift B all right so we left out one thing so we actually need to declare for so when I run control shift B it's asking well hey which build task do you want to install or do you want to run and we could just hit deploy Python script and it's going to run it uh, cool we've got main.py now is in the install directory um, but having to do four keys is, you know, a lot of work. Um, so let's go ahead and set it up to where we only have to do one. So we're going to change, we're going to add another attribute called isDefault. 
Actually, that's going to be... Let's see. That's under group. So we're going to add an attribute called is default, and we're going to set it to true. So that's going to make this the default build task. And then again, control shift B. And our build task has now run. All right, but what if you had something that's a little bit more complicated than just copying a file? So what you can do, we're gonna copy this. and we'll call this one run Python script and this is just going to be Python and main.py and you can get rid of the install again we're just chaining arguments here so this is the equivalent of having just run Python main.py. Simple enough. And and again, this is one of the things I love about VS Code. Um, you know, for me anyway, when I'm running builds with maybe a little bit more of a built-up IDE, um, there's a lot of magic going on in the background. And I really don't like magic in my workflow. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, things in the background that I just truly don't understand and can't change. Um, this is really cool because I know exactly what steps are happening. If something's broken, I can sit down and run each command by hand and figure out what's going on. Um, it's just very, very simple to work with. So uh, we're changing this to Python args main.py. So you'll notice now that we've got is default true in both places. So we can't have that. One of these tasks has to be default, but we want to run both of them, right? So what do we do? Um, we're actually going to delete is default on there and we will come down here oh, and we're going to add a depends on attribute and depends on basically lets you there's a couple different ways to do this this is the simplest to me um, depends on is going to let you chain tasks so I can say that run Python script depends on deploy Python script, which could depend on run pip install, which could, you, you get where I'm going. Um, it's, it's easy enough to chain a series of tasks. You can also set up one task that depends on many others. Um, and if you had a bunch of build tasks, that might be the right route. Um, but for just a, a very basic chain, this is really simple to do. So we're going to say this depends on deploy Python script. And this should just line up with the label up here. So let's go ahead. In fact, uh, let's say we're going to run dot slash install. So if we don't get our install, this isn't going to work. So if we're running dot slash install slash main dot pi with Python. Um, and then let's delete our main dot pi. Okay, and then again, control shift B. And apparently I deleted the word building in there somewhere. So again, control shift B. And now we get our copied file and then we get um, it running down here. You can see I'm building and you can chain any number of tasks. So whatever your workflow is, um, you can embed that in a task.json and then you can execute that with a simple keyboard shortcut, um, which is a, a really easy way to, uh, to get your workflow up and running. So give me just a moment and I'm going to pull up a, uh, a ROS demo for this. All right, so now we're over here in a ROS project. Uh, the rest of the project isn't really important. The important thing is that it is a, a ROS project that requires a Colcon build. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create a dot ta um, We're in VS Code. I'm going to create a tasks.json that we can work with. And I'm going to go ahead and copy from this build task demo. And we're going 
going to paste it in here. And then you can kind of see just how easy it is um, to change things, you know, for different scenarios. So in this case, I want to do a couple of things. I actually want to run, uh, and you can include more things in the command here. So I'm actually going to do a pip install um, because I always want to install my requirements. So pip install requirements.txt. Um, we're going to say command is pip install r requirements. Txt, uh, and in this case, the there will be no args, but we are going to add some options, and the options will set the current working directory, so cwd. And this is going to be workspace folder. And let's see if that's enough for that one. And then down here, we're going to do colcon build with environment setup. And we can say it depends on pip install requirements.txt. Um, we will say our command is going to be source install slash setup dot bash. So uh, in ROS2, when you're when you're kicking off um, a Cocon build, you want to first source your setup environment, um, and then you know you can you can go ahead and run your build. You can run it before sourcing but I found that this is a little bit more reliable um, for my use cases. So we're gonna use ampersand ampersand, and, and that's a way to string two commands together. So I, I'm basically saying I want to run this in the same shell environment. So I'm going to say source install setup.bash and colcon build. Um, and I'm saying it depends on pip install requirements. And there should be no args, no args needed. Um, and then the options will be the same. So we're going to come down here and paste our options, current working directory. All right, let's see if that's enough. And we have a successful Cocon build. So you can kind of get a feel here. We did one you know, complete demo example and then one real example. Um, but you can kind of get a feel here for what you can do with task.json, how you can use it to run things, um, you know, run a series of tasks so that you don't have to remember them. Um, and I'll, I'll show, I'll pull up one more example. So my last example here is going to be C++. And you can see here that uh, for something a little bit more complicated, this really starts to be useful. You know, instead of me having to type out uh, G++ F diagnostic, well, that's probably not something I would have to add. But instead of me having to type out G++ dash G STD C++ 17, the file or the output file, um, and then go in and run that thing every single time, I can just bundle both of those up in a simple task.json that combines everything I'm doing here. And then to run it, again, just control shift b And uh, yeah, this is a pretty simple C++ script, but you kind of get the idea. It's, uh, it's easy enough to take whatever your complicated workflow is and, uh, and boil it down into a single keyboard shortcut. And um, what I'll lead you, leave you with here is that the time it takes to complete something in code uh, is inversely proportional to your iteration speed. If it takes you an hour to try something new, and it's going to take you 20 tries to be successful, then you're looking at multiple days of work. If it takes you 30 seconds to try something new, um, and it takes you 20 tries, 
then you're going to be done in you know less time than it would take you to go get a coffee so it's worth taking the time you know maybe maybe c++ task.json isn't the right place to be um, but it's worth taking the time to think about what your workflow is and try to optimize it um, you know in this case it's hey i don't want to have to remember build commands for each project um, i want to be able to run a keyboard shortcut in any project on my computer and have it instantly build successfully and uh, and go do what I want it to. And that speeds up my iteration time. I can move very, very quickly because I'm just focused on the code. I'm not focused on the build tool and I'm not focused on remembering, hey, I'm in ROS, hey, I'm in C++, hey, I'm in Python. Um, I need to do something different to run this script. Um, so hopefully that's useful to you. Hopefully you got something out of that. If you did, uh, do me a favor, like the video, hit subscribe. I will continue to uh, post content about robotics and code and uh, workflow improvements like this one. So until next time.